Ready. All right, here with Jane Parking Polycream after your first round here at the Dow Great Lakes Bay Invitational. Jane, obviously I, I want to hear about how the day went for you, um, what your expectations were going into the round, and w if you met them or not. Um, you know, I really didn't have expectations. Um, I was super nervous, and I, I didn't want to let my partner down. Um, and, and we got off to a shaky start on the first hole because we almost missed our tee time. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and I was... Uh, I, I was first on the tee, so, um, but, you know, Paula grounded me, and uh, we kind of got into a good flow, and I'm just, I'm so glad that um, we got 18 holes under our belt, um, mm -hmm. and the harder format out of the way. Out of mm -hmm. the way. Yeah. yeah. You said yesterday, Jane, that you really wanted to take the time to just focus on golf yes. um, only. Were you able to do that, or was it so distracting with all the grace hats around and everything? I'm not going to lie. I, I didn't do well with just focusing on golf, but. But um, I think in a way I wanted to take a mental screenshot of um, the atmosphere and um, remember the feeling of walking up a fairway and, um, you know, preparing for a golf shot. Because, you know, if this is my swan song, um, I, I, want, I want to gather good memories. And even, even though, you know, I didn't play great today, but, um, you know, I'm cutting myself some slack, more slack than I normally would when I was playing, but, mm -hmm. um, but I, I'm just, uh, I tried to stay in the moment and I didn't sometimes, but, um, made some good memories today with my partner, Paula. Awesome. Paula, she just mentioned that you helped ground her. Did you feel like you did that today? No, I didn't do any. <laughs> She's too nice. Um, no, I, some of the sh golf shots that I put Jane in, you would have thought she's been practicing these for the last two years. I mean, some of these shots, I was like, holy cow, all of us. I mean, it was impressive. Um, you know, but it's great to be out there. I haven't smiled that much on a golf course in a long time. Um, you know, as much as this is, you know, like a healing and a therapeutic type thing for Jane and her family, it is for me as well. Um, just being out there and enjoying the opportunities that we get to play this great game. Um, we have both of our daughters here, our families, and you know, it's, it just puts things in perspective sometimes, and especially in an actual tournament round. I mean, you can do that in practice rounds all day, but when you have a scorecard in your hand, sometimes things change, and I feel like, me personally, I was able to kind of keep that going even into a tournament when I haven't really been able to do that on my own. Mm -hmm. With that being said, how do you also focus on golf? I mean, I know you said you're, you're going to the driving range yeah. after this. Um, how is that? routine just a part of you and and how do you stay focused on golf when you know there's so much else going on too um I think that sometimes you know I have to also like Jane said I I'm trying not to put too much pressure on myself but I also know mentally for me I have to do a couple little things whether I go there and I hit 10 balls it doesn't really matter it's more of just being in the right um, mental place um, I'm not gonna go to the putting green I'm not gonna do any of that it's gonna be on the way home to food um, but I I'm learning uh, I also I can't do what I used to do all the time. You know, my body just doesn't allow me to do as best, hit as many balls as, as once before. But um, it's just part of, of what I do, part of my kind of routine. We'll get Hilton and we'll, we'll leave. Awesome. Speaking of, of your body, Jane, how do you feel <laughs> at 18 <laughs> holes? On, um, <laughs> on 17, I, uh, I told Paula, my, my back feels like it's going to break. Um, <laughs> I haven't done this much walking since two years ago. Um, and Paula then, you know, because I'm a good friend and partner. She's a, she's a great friend. She goes, well, you got to play double uh, the shots tomorrow because yeah. it's uh, best ball. So <laughs> thanks for that little yeah. boost. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, uh, I, I'm going to I'm going to get some rest tonight. Um, I, I, I will not be going in the driving range. That's fine. But, That's okay. <laughs> That's fine. Um, but yeah, uh, a good rest is in store for today. Love that. Um, just the last question. Um, did you see Grace out there at all while you were out on the course? And, and what does it mean to see her while you while you get to play and seeing all the pink hats everywhere? Yes, uh, the pink hats have been incredible. They're just like they're just little nods of, you know, we're here and we support you. And um, we want to learn about um, the world of disability with you. And um, just seeing seeing the the pink hats on the course, it was just uh, it was very calming. And uh, it made it it made this wonderful big event feel like a small family, mm -hmm. honestly, um, yeah. seeing seeing those hats out there. And um, just uh, I, I being able to play in front of Grace, even even though she wasn't out there the whole time, I uh, I could hear her and I can recognize her her little voice. Um, 
And uh, I, I won't lie, and I'm sure Paula feels this way too, when you're playing, you kind of miss your girl. Oh, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. you think about her. Mm -hmm. And uh, I just wonder how she's doing, doing and, yeah. you know, what she's doing. Uh, mm -hmm. But yeah, it's a uh, priorities definitely change after you become a mom. And, uh, and I'm glad that um, we could take this week to prioritize ourselves as mothers and, um, you know, fill our cups by spending p time with people that we love and, and uh, someone like Paula, who I grew up playing golf with. That was beautiful. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right.